she is uh, going to pick up now the peaches uh, she told me why don't you go to pick up the peaches because it's now for everything or nothing it is to pick up the peaches and the peaches is the time to pick up the peaches because of this peaches are bitches nobody is picking up the bitches right now she wants me to get the skin cancer I did pick up all the peaches and everything but the bitches want to pick up more right now when it's sunny and so on this she is doing this out of pure fucking evil and agony uh, Od žalosti in žlehnobe. Literally, od žalosti in žlehnobe. With a broken leg. Like this. Just the way you see it. Claims to have a broken leg. Peaches and bitches. It's time to wash it. Uh, police officer was demonstrated this at the police station the other day so it's night now time to wash it i wanted him to see this stuff with his own eyes i will not use any new stuff that i got in the mail because it's all destroyed damaged and um, i just uh, i don't even know if i should watch wash this because i want to put this in the mouths of individuals who met me the other day at the police station so they get the taste of this stuff i am i am not keen to wash this stuff i'm so angry that it's difficult to explain about this stuff and i want them to see this with their own hands i want them to remind them of what went on during mk ultra when they guaranteed me i will have stuff like this so I am I simply I will not go and wash this stuff. I was gonna go and wash it, I will not go and wash it. This is just a stuff that I should just continue to use and meet these people in person and seek the response, see on their faces, on their words, what they have to say about the stuff they were doing with me during MK Ultra, which they guaranteed me I will be like this. And what they refer to also, it will be a schizophrenia. This is what Pevitz, police officer Pevitz, repeated me. If it's going to be like this, it's going to be a schizophrenia. It's got to be clean. That's why I'm not going to wash this stuff. I want to meet this individual face to face. I want the answer from him, explanation on this stuff. Uh, there are various reasons why she is playing with this stuff here, but the main reason I'm going to demonstrate you now. The main reason is... The main reason is located right there. That's a mold. And... Going down the stairways into the basement, I'm going to demonstrate you what that looks like. Uh, they deliberately poisoned the basement. They literally deliberately prepared and poisoned the basement. I remember father talking to the police. Um, deliberately where the car is parked. Uh, they would not clean the basement from the mold. They would not keep the basement aired and foremost clean from the mold. And even more so uh, with a furnace, with a small furnace inside that would be used during the winter time, especially to suck the humidity out. Because if you don't keep, uh, keep it dry, uh, and this stuff is related to the terrace through which is penetrating the water inside. They screwed up the whole fucking place. Uh, watering from the top of the terrace. They would go and wash the terrace. Uh, clean the terrace. Bat themselves on the top of the terrace. And the water would go inside. It would sink through the 
through the concrete and it would go down, it would suck and it would go straight into the garage and it would fuck it up everything. For this area here, They measured the air quality and the air quality according to people from the Slovenian state over here that they measured the malt, the quantity of malt in this place here before you even go into, into the area of basements and stuff like this. Uh, they measured that if you would stay here, I don't know for how many minutes, uh, it's deadly especially if you have some kind of lymphoma and other problems. This is what the police was playing with. And so now the main thing of this compote, ulaganje, bresko, peaches, creating a marmalade and stuff like this, is demand for me to take this stuff into the basement, to transport this to the basement, for which she is 100% sure that I am not aware of just how poisonous that stuff is. I was not aware of it because they brainwashed me that it's good, that it's actually even can be used in the summertime for the air conditioning instead of the air conditioning. And my parents would deliberately, despite having the air conditioning inside of the house, they would not use the air conditioning. They were yelling and screaming on me like an animal that I am sucking the electricity out and should go instead of the basement to save for the electricity bill. Now I'm taking where the car is. It's, um, you can't see any mold, but this is because, uh, probably because it's hot now, and it's probably because I did air it, and it's probably because uh, it's somehow it is just gone, the mold. The thing is that since 2005, uh, I had a Robert Golob that were complaining to me with the police investigators. They complained to me about just going into this room and touching the door handle. It was, it was packed, jam-packed and covered with the mold whenever they would go inside. Black mold. Um, that room is like super deadly. Um, that stuff was rated according to the Slovenian government, the way they brainwashed me on those issues with the problems that I have. I don't know how many minutes you spend in there and you're dead. No, this kind of stuff I did not consider because I did not have a luxury to consider any of it. Now let's go to the basement. Basement is where she demanded for me to, to keep transporting the stuff that she screwed up. These are peaches that could be cleaned, frozen, placed inside of the fridge uh, and would serve the purpose whenever you would want to use them because they're very healthy. But instead of that, she told me, bring four kilograms of the sugar. And what she does is she fucks them with the sugar and destroy them basically and throw them inside of the basement and gets more stuff done. Uh, makes the cancerous uh, healthy stuff biologically uh, clean without any pesticides grown. Peaches turn them into the shit, covers them with the sugar. That's one thing and sends me also to pick up the stuff into the basement uh, where she demands them to be stored.
listen, I try to be helpful. I spent yesterday and the day before yesterday picking up these uh, peaches. For her, these uh, fruits also, aronia and so on. I try to do my best, I try to assist. Um, and but the thing about it is that uh, it's not good enough. When I spent a good uh, deal of time with her this week and help her outside and here and there and keep the house clean so that she could use one, whatever she wanted. As soon as she got the hill yesterday, she walked me to the garden in the evening when it was over with the day. We came back from the father. I was not worth it a fucking shit. I was just somebody who is causing damage. Uh, everything is falling apart to her. Um, she was looking at a cucumbers, tomatoes and stuff like this and so on. And it was just, I warned her to stop, to control herself, but it was just like automated machine just going after me. And, um, absolutely like a robot, according to MK Ultra scenario. This used to be an area for the pool here. This is where they would bat here. They would have a pool here, water, jump, boom, fork, boom, water back and forth. Uh, then they figure out I am the one who is a trouble because I dry the clothing here and it's dripping down. Uh, and this is what is causing a tremendous problem downstairs. They never bother. To even put emulsion, to even put protection at the top of it so that would, the water would not go inside in there. So yes, this is like I expected. This is once they, um, they didn't bother. They didn't bother to invest even one fucking dime since they moved into this house. The only thing they did is they were using and abusing the house and for everything I was to be guilty afterwards. Um, once she got her heel on her gypsum, uh, this is basically when we go apart this way and that way, uh, and uh, it's time to pay back basically is to fuck person as much as you possibly can. And that's exactly what she did yesterday. Uh, and, uh, the rest is just a rega rega quack quack uh, from psychiatrists, neighbors, friends, so-called, the people that were coming here to do problems in this household, uh, instigating with the police together with all these people on how you're going to lose mama if you will complain about mama and this and that. That's the way it is. Uh, 53 years of my life lost, never counted. It doesn't yeah, Slovenian state figured out with uh, Prince Charles, now King Charles, with uh, Angela Merkel, with Holland, Francois Holland, and uh, what was his name, Jacques Chirac, and Mitterrand, and all this French uh, cream de la cream uh, politicians from United States of America, Joe Biden especially, Donald Trump especially, and others that paying for the food and for the electricity is going to compensate for absolutely everything. Uh, paying for the food, paying for the electricity, paying for the basic necessities uh, will pay for absolutely everything. This is the way they, they figure it out. No right to employment and no right to job, no right to employment, blacklisted, harassed, attacked, assaulted on every step of the way and uh, deal for the food and for the lectures is going to compensate absolutely everything. Yes. And the home garden is going to teach me how to live properly. That's how they figure out. That's how it's done. 
demanded from me during MK Ultra on a million occasions by the police, by the psychiatrist, captured by my mother, by my father, by my sister, by my niece, by her husband, by the neighbors to acknowledge that the parents are the one who pay for it all. Yes, they pay for it all. They did everything. They did it. Uh, bill for the electricity, bill for the food, uh, that's all there is, and forced unemployment to the local employment, psychiatry, and we are even, that's it. It's going to pay, it's going to compensate for it all. It's not me, it's my parents, they do everything. They did, they prove everything, they did everything for you. And that's how they're going to compensate for everything. My father stated, uh, will not fix this till... Uh, my car is in there uh, was extremely, extremely excited about the play with the mod uh it's with the psychiatrists uh, he tortured in 2011 in a winter time uh, they planned on how they're gonna suffocate me choke me through the what you're about to see He was uh, in front of the police. He announced that what he has in there is a total swinery. Uh, and acknowledged with the police, in front of the police, that in front of me, that the place was never cleaned up. It should have been cleaned up, uh, but will not do so until this level of abuse would develop. Uh, we'll save this stuff uh, till this case is finished. This is how he explained to me. Till the case is finished, this is the way it is. They rated that uh, area where the car would be parked like deadlier than deadly. Unlike his garage, which is totally more free aired, warmed next to the Kotlarna, next to the big furnace, uh, warm and so on. I mean, this is, this is just one of a kind scum. You don't see it every day. Uh, it's about the special as it takes, but more than they are scum, I was an idiot because I kept silent about it and then I had to pay the price for it. If you find yourself in this kind of situation, destroy them or they will destroy you with the simple as this because this is the way it goes. They are programmed to do damage, nothing other. Yeah, I helped, uh, I, I promised my father I'm going to come to him today and I'm going to start to rehabilitate him. We're going to go to the stream and start to do exercise. Uh, I tried to remind him not to fuck with me anymore, not to do damage, not to do harm anymore. Because I'm obviously the only person who's, who can help him out with it. Uh, he is again all exhausted over there in the bed, miserable situation and... The thing is, I'm not going to be able to keep up the promise with the stuff like this. I cannot, I cannot keep up the promises like this with environment like this because it's impossible to keep up with. I have a real problem sitting next to her. I have a real problem seeing her next to me anywhere. Uh, I'm trying my best to give her whatever the court would demand it for me to give her. That's all the freedoms and assistance, not only liberties, more than what she could have if she went into, if she had assist workers that would assist her. Whatever I can, I, I do. Whatever I possibly can to assist. Uh, but it's not possible. And it makes things very, very difficult for me. It changes my work schedule into frustration area and assignments that otherwise I would not have anything to do with. And it's like this that I lost in my entire life on. Uh, so everything is again off the picture. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going to go to see the father and 
Frankly, I don't know if I'm going to even drive her around anymore to the father. I am sick of it. I'm simply sick of it. She's doing her best. And it's not since yesterday, and it's not since 2020 when I came back from Poland. Actively, 24-7, Since I know her, but especially since I returned from the United States in 2006 to get some kind of violent interaction with me, some kind of violent response from my side. When I reported her for domestic violence, for physical attack on me, the police actually turned against me. They took her side, uh, stolen the disc with the proofs, with the photos of domestic abuse uh, marks on my neck she left uh, and instead proceeded with psychiatrists and psychologists against me they dispatched here at home She enjoys the life of the wealthiest people in this world. She calls herself in that room. Uh, she gets any kind of assistance she wants, anything I possibly can do for her. Yet she is miserable like a son of a bitch. She is miserable. She is she's just uh, has a tremendous difficulty to cope from me being inside of this house, for me to be next to her and even more difficult for her is a is a problem that i present whenever assisting her best of my abilities which i actually do quite good i think and this is the biggest problem that she's dealing with and it's a kind of disease it's kind of sickness that she have a she doesn't have uh, ability to deal with and it's this misery that she is using to poison me mentally into things that otherwise would not go this way. So yes, she's making this place completely unbearable. And this is not since 2012 when I raided her food, therefore food of the Slovenian state. I explained yesterday, you pay for electricity, you pay for the food, you pay for the roof over my head. Um, in return for the forced unemployment and in return for the stuff I do uh, to talk about your MK fucking ultra because you don't want to exist you don't want to admit you don't want to confess and this is basically the way Slovenian state pays the bills about this case this is the way it went for 50 now for 53 years this is the way it goes um, they continue to work very hard. They continue to do best of their abilities to get the proofs. Now, I'm not capable to help anymore. Uh, I'm not capable, capable to go visit my father anymore. I'm not capable to assist her anymore. Uh, and this is exactly the stuff they are in search. They are in search of the proofs, like police investigators stated me. We are say, searching for the proofs. They are working very hard to obtain the proofs. If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, watch the video I posted yesterday. In fact, I'm going to put the video link below so that you can see, so you can understand what kind of proofs, what exactly they were looking for, what exactly they are working on. They are desperate and they are working very hard to find proofs. Police left the water hose when doing the gardening for my parents uh, beginning 2008 who knows how many fucking times open uh, it eventually got to the director of the police Ogulin who then in charge the police investigator whom I have met in 2022 to make sure to watch over the people police and police officers and investigators and the workers people whom Police have hired to assist my parents here in the parcel or, or to watch over the stuff they do. They screwed up a good portion of the basement, if not entire basement with it. 
Strangely, police investigators alone stated me, my parents never left, what a hose on. Strangely, they said. For them it was strange, they were just waiting for one time that would have happened. It never did. Of course, I'm not an idiot. Uh, that is a temperature for the water collector temperature from the collectors and the sun energy uh, that, um, I don't know how, boiler. It collects itself in a boiler. I'm not an idiot, I know what that is. That does not significate mold, uh, level of mold or whatever. But the Slovenian government officials have used those numbers to insist me, to drive me absolutely insane during MK Ultra on how deadly, how dangerous mold level in that in that area before entering the garage, before going down to the basement. As for the basement and for the garage, they told me, I don't know, they talked to me about how many minutes you can be safe in each space, whatever. Not safe, but before you get like definitely uh, lymphoma cancer, especially if you are prone to, if you are, if you are a subject, if you are a good candidate for one. They did the stuff on me. Uh, they told me don't even try to be in any of these spaces. These are the people from Ljubljana, government, literally state officials that also watch this stuff. Too bad they did not stop extermination procedure um i would not give them i would definitely not classify them into the category of people who were here to do malicious stuff because what they told me about is simply is true it's a fact uh that place is jam-packed with black mold it's deadly i uh, you have to be no fucking genius to to understand to know these issues you don't have to be einstein uh police was the one that flooded, um, literally flooded basement with a uh, water hose from the outside. They have forgotten to turn the water hose on off after using one in it was that the water was leaking like three days in a row. Okay, that stuff went on also. I created a totally separate video for that issue. My mother suffered broken leg accident in 2012, not now. And it was a police who attempted to portray me to myself as somebody completely helpless, uh, a, a little puppy, a little fucky fuck, puppy fuck fuck. Uh, who can do nothing against the system that claims, well, <laughs> you know, you're a paranoid schizophrenic for claiming what the fuck you claim. And I guess you as mother and father to come out and say, yeah, you know, it's true. Um, I'm not excited about this stuff. I'm not excited about being investigated by the police based on crime the police designed to literally uh, suggest that I did something uh, in charge themselves on investigation based on the crimes of the chain of crimes they created uh, and then again uh, use these issues together with my parents with my family to negotiate crime with me as they insisted in an MKR sure they would they insist me they would do this kind of issues to literally at least they're going to reach the agreement with me so that they will be practically free from any kind of liabilities anything all the criminals involved in MKUltra.